Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about the important topics on respiratory physiology. Please watch this video completely because I am going to discuss important topics on respiratory physiology which can be asked in your exams. These are the very very important topics. So let's start. Important topics on respiratory physiology. Alecus. First question is Describe the process of uptake and transport of oxygen in the blood. You need to describe how the oxygen is you are taking and how this oxygen is getting transported in the blood. Add a note on oxygen dissociation curve. Second question is what is hypoxia? Classify it and explain in brief. You need to tell the definition of hypoxia. Then classify the hypoxia and then explain about it. Third question is define airway resistance. Give its normal value. List the factors affecting it. Describe briefly factors governing flow of air in air passages. Define airway resistance. Then what is its normal value? Then write about the factors which are affecting airway resistance. And describe the factors which are governing the flow of air in, in air passages. What is asphyxia? Explain its features. Various stages of asphyxia. First define what is asphyxia. Definition of asphyxia. Then explain its features and the stages of asphyxia. SAQs. How then affect cyanosis. Physiological dead space. We know that anatomical dead space and physiological dead space. So you need to write here about physiological dead space. Explain the role of pulmonary surfactant in the maintenance of the stability of alveoli. Define what vital capacity. State four physiological factors that influence the vital capacity and factors influencing it. First, write the definition. Then four physiological factors which are influencing the fact vital capacity. Okay. Oxygen dissociation curve factors influencing it. Write about the oxygen dissociation curve and then write about which factors are influencing this curve. Describe the different methods of artificial respiration, which is the best method and why. Okay. First write about the different methods of artificial respiration and then tell which is the best method among them and why it is. Okay. Explain mouth to mouth breathing, residual volume, tidal volume. You need to write definition and then you need to write the value also. Hyaline membrane disease, deglutition apnea, deglutition apnea, chemical control of respiration. Blood buffers in regulation of pH, ultrastructure of respiratory membrane. You need to draw the diagram here. Okay. Periodic breathing, functional residual capacity. Describe the modes of transport of carbon dioxide from tissues to lungs. You need to tell how the carbon dioxide is transporting from tissues to lungs. Enumerate differences between voluntary and involuntary muscles. You need to draw a table and you need to discuss the differences between the voluntary and involuntary muscles. Hiring breathing reflex. What is normal ventilation perfusion ratio? How does the ratio differ in various parts of the normal lung? First write what is the normal per perf ventilation perfusion ratio. Then how this ratio is differing. In various parts of the normal lung. So this is all about the important topics in respiratory physiology which can be asked in your university exams. So be prepared for this and if you like my video then please like and share with your friends so that they should also get benefit and comment. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so whenever I post new video you will get the update. Thank you.